Hola, Sagittarius singles, super singles, I call you. We have the couples read. Always on Fridays is Sag and Cap singles and couples right now. I'm going to do the four pillar singles read for Sagittarius. It's for the first uh, week of April 2021, guys. And let's see what we got. We're looking for your soulmate here. I'm going to try to describe them. And this is for, like, uh, you call the airport, you tell them, look, clear one way. Um, my soulmate's been up there um, flying around circles for the last few years or whatever. I've been busy. Other people, <laughs> persons, and uh, have them come on down. And we're going to go pick them up in a limo and go out on a date get to know them. Something like that. You get to decide where you want to go. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Really look too much at the bottom of the deck here. So we're going to look at the four pinnacles, the uh, emotional nature and compatibility of your person. Uh, I'm going to put this down. I'll just have to walk you through this because of the wind. The uh, intellectual, wow, heavy hitter that you got yourself into, your soulmate. This is what we're talking about, guys. This is not your next ex problem. You're not ex person, wife, husband, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend. This is the one that's for you. You know, and you're going to be the one for them. So this is their lifestyle and core values here. And, uh, don't let the three of uh, swords uh, scare you. If you saw that, it's a very different kind of read. So we're looking at your your guy, your girl here. Um, Sag and try to get an idea what they're like here. So, with the as usual, the sexual aspects jump out to me. Um, but this is someone that really loves sex, and um, they really put themselves into it with the chariot and the two of cups. It's like uh, they kind of find themselves in sex, you know. So just know, I mean, sex means a lot to them. And they'll be very good, very attentive, very giving uh, lovers with this Two of Cups. Um, but um, I don't know. It's like sex is like a mission to them. So remember, this is your person. This isn't bad. They're not out there banging everybody. Not what I'm saying. I'm saying that sex is going to be more than just sex. Okay? It's going to be, they're going to put a lot of their uh, energy into it, and a lot of their needs for intimacy and stuff are going to go into there so um, let's see we're looking at them emotionally with the ten of pentacles and the empress guys you know anything about tarot now we're looking at their emotional nature ten of pentacles empress this person is rock <laughs> I'm telling you remember this is your person I'm not being negative but I'm saying good luck upsetting this person good luck with that you know <laughs> Maybe that's why their sexuality, maybe they kind of let themselves out emotionally. I was wondering, the often the sexuality is related, everything related, but, you know, uh, maybe that's what's going on with them. Um, because, uh, you now we're talking about on a date, we want to be able to identify what are they like, you know, because you don't know what they're going to be like sexually until. So, but you will know, tell your stories, get to know each other. There's going to be a rapport here. This is your person. This is something we're working on, okay? So... Um, but you now with this kind of emotional stability, I, you know, it, it might not be like they're not emotional. Um, they're going to be super appropriately emotional. They're they're not going to. It's not going to be any kind of uh, um, passive aggressive or any nonsense like that. They're just going to be solid. The kind of person you can rely on. Um, whatever they feel, they feel. They're. And the phases of the moon don't uh, bother them. They're not going to wake up with the moon in Pisces like I do and cry <laughs> for no, re no apparent reason. God bless them. Um, I think they're just with the Empress here too. They're very giving too. That's why I say they're not cold. They're not cold. So they might actually be very warm. Very warm. And, and this energy is very grounding. So what's grounding? Especially for me, a fire sign. You hug these people, and it's like your fire goes out. But it's like good. Like, you know? It's like, ah. It's like they just take all 
your energy and absorb it. It just feels so good. Their hugs are so good. You know, so you may find that with this person when they hug you, it's like, oh. like they're, uh, and they, and this could be something too with the sex, like it's really grounding for them. You know, they may ground you out. You know, I've had that. <laughs> That's an interesting experience, guys. Um, so I think when you're talking to them, they're just going to be very mature, very emotionally stable. They're not going to tell you stories about crazy ex anything because they're stable and they wouldn't do that. You know, they're, they don't do the crazy. Oh, it's okay. No problem. Buenos dias. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, they're, they're not going to, so that'll be something right in itself. Sometimes you can know them by the stories they don't tell. So they're not going to tell you stories with all kind of crazy exes and all these problems because I'm guessing they don't play that. You know, somebody has some kind of emotional stability. Now we look at the intellectual here with the hair fan and the justice. They, are they a lawyer? <laughs> I, if they're not a lawyer, I mean, it, you know, these two cards here in the intellect... And also, you know, the, with the emotional aspects, we're talking about a very mature person. This could be an older person. You don't get like this quickly. This takes time. And they have advanced degrees. They are rock solid. Like, they're, uh, they're same, kind of the same emotionally. Like, they're just not going to do the drama. They're just not going to do it. You can do the drama, and they're just not going to do it. Uh, they're not going to do nonsense. They're not going to do petty intellectually. They're not going to have petty arguments, talk about stupid shit. This is a serious heavyweight person here. Okay? They, they um, any uh, conversation, and with justice too, um, they're going to bring a real balance. Like, they're going to know. With this, it's like they just know their shit, right? With the hair fan and justice, it's not so much that they look at both sides. They're not like that. Well, they're not going to say to you, Oh, well, I see their side and your side. Not necessarily like that. They're just going to look at both sides and make a really good decision. And then another thing about this person, they are not going to change their mind. So they're not going to change the way they feel, and they're not going to change their mind. That's what I mean by rock solid. So, and I, they're your person. So, I don't know. That's pretty good. You know, you can count on them to be the same way tomorrow, next month, next year, next decade. And that's, uh, now, in terms of the intellect, what will you see here? Well, you will see someone is very confident in a very easy way. Um, and with the empress here and the emotions, they're warm and caring and uh, could even be soft here. This is not a hard person, guys. Not at all. Just they have a hard mind, a good mind. They are no nonsense, okay? They're kind of conservative. They're going to be kind of conservative. Um, they're not going to be... Uh, wanting to do anything wild and crazy that's for sure very stable personality uh, and we talked about the sexuality I think that sexuality for them they really let go of a lot of this uh, energy and uh, you know could be a little wild and definitely pour their emotions into the sex and it's going to be really good uh, no question there now with the hermit and the three of swords um I think in terms of lifestyle, we talked about a little bit with the core values and that they're conservative. And um, I think they like to stay to themselves with the hermit. Uh, this could mean that they're not the kind of person that wants to socialize a lot. Um, they may concentrate on work and then want to come home and, you know, want that home environment, you know. Um, and with the three of swords, I think, again, boy, the lawyer thing stands out. They're, they're not someone that's afraid to say harsh things. Like, they're, they're not a harsh person. They're kind of a sweet person, kind of a warm person. But it may be in terms of their work. Lawyer, uh, when it comes to work, or maybe if they feel it's necessary or a core value, they will speak up, this person. Um, and they're not afraid. They're not afraid to they take a sword and ram it through somebody's heart if they feel that's what needs to get done you know, uh, for the greater good, in their opinion. Um, and um, so you're not going to find someone that's going to want to go out on the weekend and party a lot. They may not even want to go golfing with their buddies or, or out with their girlfriends to have a girl's night out or whatever it is, a gym. Um, they might want to kind of stay to themselves. And you could ask them about that. You know, they, like, what's your week? You know, classically do, right? 
hey, what, uh, what, uh, what's your weekends like? Uh, and see what they tell you. But, okay, Capricorns, uh, I mean, Sagittarius, uh, I hope that gives you an idea of uh, what we're dealing with here, with your singles guy, our girl. <laughs> Thank you, guys. First to the seventh.